Good evening, good evening, good evening. <laughs> How is everyone? It's been a minute. I've been doing Thanksgiving stuff. Let's see if we can blow up a Paul Smith blank, shall we? Woo! Hey, Craig, what's up, buddy? Paul! RuPaul's Drag Race in the house. What's up? Mr. King, what's up, buddy? How you doing, man? All right. Let's see if we can break it. <laughs> Gene, what's up, man? How's it hanging in Tennessee, buddy? Now, the trick with Paul stuff is to not explode it. <laughs> Must be very gentle. Pretty soon, Kyle, pretty soon. What's up, Steve? <laughs> We're gonna be very ginger. Hey, Todd, what's up, buddy? Just very soft, very, very soft. Let's get all our stuff right here so we don't make a mockery of this lovely segmenting work by Paul here. That's good, Gene. Good to hear, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, that sure is pretty. That's really nice. Yeah, I've been busy, man, doing the family thing for all the holiday stuff. You know how it goes. Holiday times. But then I was like, hey, I gotta make some money for Christmas. <laughs> It's shinier after you hit it with the cutter a little bit. Or the aluminum is shinier anyway. Yeah, me too, Scott. Woo, that's nice. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. That's luscious. That shine is phenomenal. All right. There's so much fear mongering that goes on about Paul's blanks. Like, doesn't seem too bad to me. Now I'll blow it up. <laughs> Randy's in the house. Whoop 
Mongo Doys in the house. <laughs> I hear you, Paul. Hey, Becky. 31.3445. You can't make it pie like that, Evan. Ethan, rather. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. No problem, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be swell and sweet. Oh, -hoo! <laughs> They're not anodized, Brian. I dyed something on here at one point or another and then laid CA over top of it. Eddie Stone's in the house. Hey, Steve. Thanks, Albert. <laughs> there you go, Paul. Tom, it's not my blank, it's Paul's blank. And it is quite nice. They're pink because I dyed something on these bushings at some point and then laid CA over top of it and then took it off and never cleaned them off. They need to be sorted out at some point. <laughs> This is going to be a Sirocco in all black.
I don't have special stuff. I got regular stuff. Lots of pretty aluminum in there. Beautiful! I don't know, Byron, this is my first one. <laughs> but I'm excited to see how it turns out. What's up, Jeremiah? How you doing, buddy? A hundred million dollars, Steve. That's good, Jeremiah. Hope everybody had a lovely Thanksgiving. I did, for sure. I hear you, Steve. That's good news, Byron. No, huh? I had no experience. I'm glad you're giving it a vote of confidence. <laughs>
open this pan. That's sweet. Oh, that's lovely. Absolutely. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I like the look of that now. That's pretty. Very, very pretty. Mm, 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 mm. anything special David I dyed something on here a while ago and uh, the dye is just still on the bushings I'm not messing with that anymore with the cutter that's luscious looking if we do any more shaping we'll do it with the sanding gear that is bueno I never go straight. I know, right? Everybody wants them. Be cautious with that, Michael. Don't want to mix our greens. Hey, Darren, thanks, buddy. hypothetical but I don't trust it <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah this is the best tool Eric the granite the good stuff oh that's so smooth oh I like how smooth that is yep Got you, Paul. Uh, no, Steve, it's the uh, sound of the aluminum. The old color committee. <laughs> yeah, Eric, this stuff is the best, man. Great, great stuff. Yep, 
and a small contact point doesn't separate your aluminum from your wood. That's why I used it. I just got it down to a basic, basic shape, and I'm finishing out my shaping with the sand paper. That way I don't have to worry about hitting it with the old, uh, whatchamacallit cutter and chopping it up. I get it at Woodcraft. The Woodcraft near my house sells it by the five inch by five inch square, so I get it from them. Oh yeah. So here we are. That's our 220 grit sandpaper finish right there. Not bad, or 240 rather. Appreciate it, Steve. I wouldn't suggest it, John. Hey, Greg, what's up, buddy? Uh, no, Daryl, this is a uh, Festool granite sandpaper. It's regular sandpaper, but it's got a foam backing. This is 320 grit. the 400 now oh snap there's 53 people in here what the heck <laughs> hello everybody Thanks for coming and hanging out. Glad y'all are here to party with me. This is sweet. On to the 600 bit now. I haven't even been looking at the dang number of people in here. Holy cow. Hello, everybody. Woohoo. <laughs> I'm sanding my pink dye off. Oh no! Haha! <laughs> What's up, Kurt? Oh yeah! That's up to 600 grit now. That's just lovely looking. Uh. <clears throat> hey, Steve! Speaking of that, I'm sanding the pink off. That's what I always tell everybody about how I do my uh, leaving my CA on there, or I, actually rather leaving the uh, steel bushings on. That's what I do every time. I leave that light coat of CA so I can use my cutter tools right down to that line of CA, and then it starts to chip it off a little bit, and then I know I'm right down to the bushing size exactly. And you can see exactly how that works with the pink dye now. How about that? So I cut down right till it starts coming off right at the edges. And I know I've made it down perfectly without cutting anything through. Uh, it doesn't get that hot because of the foam backing. That's why I like it. The foam backing keeps you from putting any really hard pressure on it. Conflagration, that man says. I don't know how to define that word, but I'm looking it up when I get over here. Now we're saying it's 
800. That's luscious looking. Oh, I like this pin a lot. <laughs> dry sanding with our micro mesh and smooth this stuff out a little bit further uh, yeah I never change the RPM for my sanding Byron I keep it at 2670 all right now we're gonna shine up this aluminum here with our uh, micro mesh just a little bit just enough to be dangerous Doing the paw, doing the paw, we're gonna sand this stuff till it's shiny. shark guy haha <laughs> success that's pretty friggin shiny that's awesome Michael congratulations welcome to the party it's expensive <laughs> We got her shined up pretty good now. Yes, sir. All righty. So, that is nice and shined up now with no finish yet. It's about to go down. <laughs> Let us see what Squirt does flying solo. Hi. Oh no! 
I'm all stopped up. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Nice. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Oh, yes. That is luscious. that this is a different color than this like each one is a different color uh, I think this might be the same as this middle one but these ones on the end are a deeper kind of a darker teal color than this kind of dark hunter green and then the light lime green on the corners oh, I love it love it love it swell oh, 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 oh yes 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 Like, why would you say a green state? That's not a color of theirs. <laughs> In the great state of Texas. Yeah, if you want to pay for it, Ken, no problem, boss. Happy to. <laughs> Gonna be a little bit expensive, but it'll also be worth it because it's awesome. <laughs> Never know, Ken might have the money bags hanging out. What's up, 
buddy. I can't start over now. It's gone too well to this point. I don't want to screw it up. <laughs> coats now. Appreciate it, Steven. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, one more coat. Seven coats is very few. <laughs> medium, Byron. I only use medium CA. Oh, okie pokey. Yes, dude, they're awesome, dude. Really pleased I got my hands on one before it was too late. I started to buy two. <laughs> magic number of CA coats. My magic number is seven for no particular reason. But it, seven seems to be a number that I don't sand through when I'm sanding. So seven it is for me. I'll do more than seven if I'm doing like seashells or anything crazy like that that's got a lot of different sectors and shapes to it. But anything normal, yeah, seven is good. All right, it's been a minute, so I gotta clean up some new water and uh, get everything squared up to uh, wet sand and buff this buddy right here. Just a moment. <laughs> hey Steve, no dude, it's like 39 degrees here. That's why there are no flippy floppies. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, you gotta start with a little bit more aggressive, uh, sanding when you go to your finished coats then, Byron. Or you gotta work on how you're laying the coats on. One of the two. That's cold water and it's cold in here. I get all the texture out with my very first micro meshing grit. That's the real trick. If you have any texture after the first micro mesh grit, it's going to be there at the end. You got to get it on the first one. Uh, yeah, John. I got a sink. And uh, the sink is awesome. And I also have a, um, <laughs> friggin' heater, and the heater is awesome. There goes the sink. 
There goes the heater. Hooray! It was mad at me for having my phone turned to the side. <laughs> okay. So yeah, after all that, we got smoothed out now. Now we'll do one more micro mesh grit real quick. Then we'll move on to our Zona papers. Uh, this CA went on so smooth, y'all. Oh, it's nice. I barely had to do anything to it to get it to smooth all the way out. That's lovely. Oh, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> my, it's my father-in-law's shop. He built it, and he wanted to have running water, so he's got it in here. I have no... I didn't help at all with putting the running water in here, but I am very pleased that it exists. I highly recommend putting running water in your shop if you can get away with it. Run the wire, the, the water line out there yourself. <laughs> it's worth it. My wife's grandfather's woodworking shop has a bathroom with a toilet and a freaking shower. So, <laughs> still not there yet. We're going to get this thing smoothed out yet, and it's going to be real pretty when we're done with it. Man, I'm psyched about this pen. <laughs> I finally got me a Paul Blank! Yay! It was hard to get your hands on a Paul Smith Blank. You got to let go of a bunch of money first. <laughs> and it's worth it every time. Uh, I think mine starts at like 1200 John. I dry sand to 800 before I get started. Uh, this is going from 30 micron down to 1 micron, which is something like 1500 down to 36,000, I think. Yeah, that's fair, Byron. It doesn't really get that cold down here, though, to really freeze up your lines very often. Maybe once or twice a year, but not very common at all. Most of the time, we don't have that problem. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, so it doesn't stay super cold for much of the year. Alrighty. It's like half a bunch of money. <laughs> That's correct, Paul. That is correct, sir. A big half of a bunch of money. The bigger part of your half. <laughs> but, as far as I can tell, it's worth it. Pay the money. Get yourself some Paul Smith stuff. It is the bestest, bestest. I can attest. Preach on, Becky. <laughs> Alright, so... This is where we're going to be after our micro mesh. Focus, machine! Hold on. Use my Paul Smith box. There we go. Yeah, that's too cold, Steve. No, thank you. Y'all can keep that up there with you. Now we check around and ensure that we have not sanded through anywhere. Looking good. I don't think we did. Good news. Good news. 
starting to get towards shiny, but we got some more things to do yet. Uh, yeah, Byron, I'm in Charlotte, man. There we go. Yeah, it's far too early for snow. <laughs> that sucks. No, uh, no snow yet. Snow is for January and February, and that's it. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to move on to the Hut Ultra Gloss Plastic Polish. We're going to buff this thing out a little bit here with the polish. <laughs> there you go, Paul. I gotta <laughs> gotta be resourceful with what I got. Appreciate it, Byron. That's starting to get a little bit of shine to it now. Oh yeah! But we still got more shininess to come. Paul, oh, this is how we gotta make the background for it. Boom! There's the background. Yeah! How about that? Oh, that's cool, Byron. Yeah, the north's not too far from here. <laughs> that's Paul's uh, sparkly stuff he put in the box for me because I said, please put sparkles in it. And he said, yes, sir. I will add your sparkles. And I said, you sound like Optimus Prime. <laughs> okay, that is just luscious. I'm going to hit it one more time with some uh, Ultra Gloss Plastic Polish again. And then we will move on to the buffing wheels. Fort Bragg, there you go. Awesome. Yep, Paul, that's what I needed, boss. <laughs> I need my sparkle sparkles. All the time. I'm a sparkly fiend. Alright, now we're going to clean off any excess buffing compound with some water. Go. Ooh. Whimsical. Oh yes, that's nice. Ooh, buddy. Yes, please. <laughs> Yeah, it does, Robert. I am a fan of lime, so I just like to look at it. <laughs> All right. Clean up a little bit of stuff here. Real quickly, like. Oh, yeah, no problem, John. Yeah, the water trick is your friend. Because that, uh, the buffing, uh, com the rubbing compound, 
It can make your whole finish look hazy if it's still on there. That's a good little tricky tricky. And you'll be like, I've been hand rubbing this thing for like 20 minutes. How is it still looking satiny? That's the trick. Okay. One second. Put on the shiny makers now. Pop and go. Awesome. Boom. Sweet and simple. Dunsky. It goes right there. Okay. Oh, this is going to be just wonderful. <laughs> Go. Let me grab some 320 grit paper here real quick. Just a moment. These are the instructions. Read the instructions. <laughs> They're important. They will help you very much. Don't do not what the instructions say. And it'll all turn out well. Let me start. Filming all your lives in the landscape. Uh, I don't know, John. I'm considering it. Uh, when I post my videos to YouTube and it's in portrait, uh, it doesn't fill up your TV then. So, I don't know that I love the way that the landscape sits as well for the live stream. But, it crosses platforms a lot better. So, it's kind of a toss-up I haven't made a decision yet this is the first one I've done in landscape I don't know maybe y'all can tell me how the experience is uh, better or worse or different or whatever um, with the uh, landscape instead but so it's a work in progress this is the first try on the landscape I worry that it'll be harder to see what's going on through the comments uh, while it's landscape and maybe easier to see through the comments on uh, portrait but again it won't transfer over to the TV very well on YouTube so not sure yet that's up in the air y'all let me know what you think what y'all prefer if you like the portrait or landscape better. It'd be nice if I had a second standalone camera set up, which maybe I should do. Hook up my GoPro on the side of the phone and just video with the GoPro and run that for the YouTube and then keep the phone in portrait. You're liking the comments? Oh, sweet. Okay. Good. That's awesome. Good, good, good. Landscape is better. All right. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on with it, uh, John. You're correct. Okay, good. Landscape is better. For, fantastic. Because I think it's, I mean, I know it's going to be a lot better for the YouTube, so. Hey, great, great, good. Thank goodness. 
That's awesome. I'm glad because I was worried about that. I was worried it would be harder to see um, with the comments. Um, but if it's better this way, that's perfect. Oh, great, great. Yay! Hooray! We did something that works good. <laughs> All right. Let's buff this thing and make it gorgeous. Yeah, I was worried about that. I was definitely worried about that. So this is much better. It was a shot in the dark, but it seems to have hit where I wanted it to. That's awesome. Good, good news. Because this will go way better onto the YouTube setup. And then you can watch it on the YouTube on your phone in landscape. And it'll look better on your phone, too, and better. So... Everything is good now. Hooray! Hooray! Alrighty, we're about to get this thing shined up here nice and pretty, then we can check her out. As long as nothing bad happened and I didn't do it right. But I'm thinking it's going to be pretty good. Yes, please. That's an interesting idea, John. I haven't heard about that. What is that? Or maybe, P John, send me a private message and I would like to hear about that from you. Because I'm going to want more information than you can probably send to me in here. Yes, yes. That is just whimsical. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Whoa. Hey, Bill. Sand the end of what now? End of the tube. Sirocco is a little big. Don't want too much pressure for the segments. Yeah, I did, Paul. Okay, let's take a look at this wonderful piece of beauty right here that we got from Professor Paul. Oh, I love this piece. I love this piece. This one might have to be my new EDC. I might not even sell it. Ooh! <laughs> I love the detail in the green on the sides. Sorry, in the lime green, rather. Yes, please. Oh, that's nice looking. That is just, just wonderful. <laughs> okay. I've never put a Sirocco together, so I don't know how it works. So hopefully, I won't screw it up. I can't make any promises, but I'll do my best to just, 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 just not to blow it up. If it blows up, I'm going to be very sad, and I'm going to cry to Paul. Paul, oh, no, I'm blowing it up. Help me, help me. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. Yeah, that stuff is gorgeous, man. Very, very nice. I'm loving it. Loving it, loving it. So, you guys are behind me now, so I'm not going to be able to read stuff very well. So, this be, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you when I put it together. <laughs> 
it's gonna be kind of murdered out black on black with all this which I was into a lot I like black on black anyway and uh, I'm a fan Huge fan of black on black. You straighten up. Perfection. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> All right. Okay, so it's going to get pressed in and then get screwed in afterwards. I'm going to make sure I get it centered up just so. Give me a second. I'm sorry I'm not responding right now. Gotta make sure I don't screw this up here at the very, very bitter end. Super sweet. Let this go through here. Just a moment. Yep. <laughs> it takes a village to raise a pin. <laughs> that is exactly right. Oh, that is really smooth. You're absolutely right about how smooth this kit is. Oh, uh, the... Oh, 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 man. <whistles> Golly, I don't want to sell this thing, y'all. That's the plan anyway, Paul. All right, one second. Let me uh, get my phone off the tripod situation here. <laughs> Just a moment. Okay. 
So, thanks for hanging out and being patient with my slow process here. Give me just a second. Jason, what's up, buddy? All right. Whew, sorry about the wait. Here is this exceptional freaking pin right here. I am loving this thing, y'all. And yeah, it's very, very smooth. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I like this pin. Hang on, let me set it down here so we can all take a look at her. Oh, I am loving this. This is Sirocco, Steve. Appreciate it, Byron. Yeah, I freaking like this thing. This is nice. <laughs> Woo-wee! Okay, hold on. Now we have it on some 4,000-year-old bog oak. Ooh, it looks good on that, too. Uh, yes, I use the uh, Sierra bushings. <laughs> I know you will, Dave. You send me 140 bucks, we'll talk about it. <laughs> uh, this is a Sirocco. Malcolm. I love the dang, whatever he called it, bee's wing. I think that's what he said it was called. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Yep, I'm digging this thing, y'all. This is just luscious. There you go. All right. Yep. Appreciate it, Malcolm. All righty. So that's the toy. We got us a Paul Smith in the bag. Unexploded. Hooray. Appreciate it, Tony. Thanks, buddy. Alrighty, that is it for the Paul Smith extravaganza. Hooray, we made it into one piece with no explosions. That's good news. Alright, we can stop all the fear mongering about turning uh, these serif blanks. They're not bad at all. Turns like butter. Cool. Alrighty, thanks a lot everybody. Y'all have a lovely evening. Boom, everything's cool. Appreciate it.